Hi, this is Marloom's Creations, and today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable poodle on your loom. This is a single loom design. We will be making the body of the poodle first, and then the head later and attaching it. For today, you're going to need 177 pink bands, 76 white bands, and four black bands. The four black bands are for the toenails of the poodle. If you do not have beads, though, you will need three extra black bands and the optional for the bow. So gather your supplies, and we will begin by making the limbs. So the first thing you're going to do after you have gathered your supplies is we're going to start by making the poodle's legs. I have pre-made some of my legs, and I'm going to show you how to make one, and then you can make the other three. Pause the video or rewatch it and make the other three. So to make the leg, you're going to take a single band and you're going to wrap it around itself and you're going to place it on your loom and go down five times. And I like to wrap it around my hook, that way it doesn't overly stretch the white band. So that's two and three. And if you wrap it around your finger, I notice it just stretches it a little bit extra. One, two, three, four, and then five. And now you're going to grab three pink bands, and you're going to take a single pink band and wrap it around your hook so it looks like a figure eight. Slide it down, take another, wrap it around, slide it down, take another, wrap it around, and then pull on it and slide these onto that band. Grab both loops, I like to hold them like that, and then I just put them on here. And then do that again, grab three bands, grab one, slide it down, another figure eight, slide it down, wrap this around, pull on it, slide these on, grab the other loop, and place it on here. And then you are going to grab four white bands, place it on these two pegs right here, and then a single black band, and you're wrapping that around your peg four times. Then you're going to take another pink band, another figure eight, and another figure eight, and you're gonna leave that on your hook. Grab the caps bands, pull them back, loop those four white bands forward, grab this pink band, and before you loop it, slide all of these onto that single band and loop. Again, add two more bands to your hook, reach in, grab that single pink, slide it down, and loop. And then you're just going to loop those white bands forward. And this is now your time or chance actually to grab a spare hook or a toothpick or something thin that you can put all the pieces on. We're going to have quite a few pieces. We have the ears, the feet, and the tail. So this is your poodle's um, foot, and, and it's also going to be a leg there, so you need to make three more of these. Take your hook, reach in through all these loops, pull, and then it straightens all the loops out. Twist, go to the other side, same thing. And now, now you can make three more identical ones to this. And once you've done that, I'm going to place this on my spare hook. Now we're going to make the tail of the poodle. So for the tail, you're going to take a single white band and you're going to cap it and place it on your loom on the very top two pegs. And you're going to go down 10 times doing that.
So this should be 10. There should be two pegs left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Correct. So after you have one down 10 times, then you're going to take your a single pink band, make a figure eight again, another figure eight, make a capped band again, pull on it, slide these on, and place it on these two pegs. Again, a figure eight, another figure eight, a capped band or another figure eight, but this time pull on it, slide these on, and place it on this peg. Now take a single pink, wrap it on this peg four times, and grab two extra pink bands again, make two more figure eights, Reach under the cap band, bring those, bring that pink band up, slide these down, and loop. Same thing, a figure eight, another figure eight. Reach in here, bring that pink band up, slide these down, and loop it. And then you're just going to be looping the capped white bands forward. And then you can remove this. Take your hook, go through the loops, the little fluffy ones, pull on it. The same thing on this side, just pull on it, just a little fluffy. And again, adding this to a spare hook. So now we're going to do, you should have made all of your poodle's um, legs, all four of them. And I showed you how to do one, and they're all the same. You should have made three more. And we just did the tail together. So this is the tail. And now we're going to do the poodled ears. For the ears, you're going to take a single white band, and you are going to wrap it around itself, and place it on these two pegs in the middle. Then take a single white band, and place it from here to here and from here to here, and in the middle. Take a pink, place it here, here, and here. And then you're gonna close that from here to here, and here to here. Then grab a single pink, wrap it around itself, and place it, triangle band, from here to here. And then a cap band will go on this peg, only wrapped around three times. And then we are going to add the fluff as well to the ears. So you're going to do figure eight again, another figure eight. Now when I do this by myself, I add multiple loops on my hook but if that makes you uncomfortable because they do get tangled up you can just place two at a time so I place two I'm going to reach under that cap band and grab the first pink band and before looping it I'm going to slide down the figure eight bands and then loop the same thing wrap it around wrap it around reach in under that cap band again Grab the second single band, slide these down, and loop. Again, a figure eight, another figure eight, and grab that remaining pink band, slide down, and loop. And now we have the two sides to add loops to, so we need four bands. 
figure eight, another one. And I'm just going to add all four on here and slide them down when I need them. Reach here, grab that bottom pink band, and only slide down two sets. So that's one and two, and loop it. And then reach in here, bring that single band, and slide down the remaining two bands, and loop. And then you're going to reach in here and bring that white band to the middle, bring this white to the middle, and then don't forget in here, bring this single white to the middle. Then push all those bands back, grab that capped band, loop it forward, and remove it slowly. And there is one of your poodle's fluffy ears. And I'm going to place that on my hook. And we'll do that again together, because I do need a second. Again, a single white band wrapped around itself and place on these two. A single white from here to here, here to here, and the middle. And then a single pink here, here, and here. And then closing it. Then a single white, I mean a single pink band capped, making a triangle band from here to here, all these three. One, two, three. And then a cap band on this peg only three times, wrapped around. And you know the drill, adding the figure eights. One, two. I'm just going to add a couple this time on my hook. So you're going to reach in again, grabbing the first band that you see, and only sliding down two sets, and looping it. Reach in again, grab the other single band, slide down the remaining two, loop. Pushing the cap band back, grabbing that single, slide and loop. Again, another, there's so many four, because it's two and two, I'm just going to put the four on my hook. Reach in, grab that single, slide down only two sets. Again on this one, and just slide down the remaining two and loop. Loop the corners first to the middle, the white band, the white band, and then don't forget to loop the middle as well, this one right here. And then reach in and loop that capped band, remove it from your hook, I mean from your loom, and there's your other fluffy poodle's ear. And I have a spare hook I placed them on. So you should have made all together your poodle's tail, all of your arms and legs, and your ears. And now we are ready to make the body of your poodle. So for the body, you're going to start off with three white bands. And that's going to be the neck. And then we are going to just be using all of the pink bands. Take two pink bands, place it to the left and to the right. And then you are going to go down six times on each row. So you can just start placing double pink bands, six times going down six times on every row. <clears throat> and 
and I'm using, in case I haven't said, I am using all Rainbow Loom colors. This is the Rainbow Loom. Actually, this Rainbow Loom white is the Glow Bands. And then this is Rainbow Loom's Pink Rose. But you can use any shade. And if you were going to make another poodle after this, and I did make an all pink poodle. And I will show you what it looks like. It's cute, but I still think that the contrast of the colors look a lot nicer. And then I started to make a gray poodle. So his limbs and face would be gray and then white floofy stuff, which we'll see if that looks cute. See, this is tangled. And in the middle, once you have placed six on, let me just fix this because it's not neat. Once you have placed the six bands on every row, you want to look at the middle row. One, two, three, four, five, six, the very last one, you want to remove it because we forgot we have to add the tail at this point. And you want to add another band. So this should be three bands. And then you want to grab your poodle's tail. This is the time to grab your poodle's tail. And you're going to grab the loops of your caps band, both whites. So here's your poodle's tail. And you're going to slide three pink bands through it and then place it on these two right here. And then you're going to push it down. And you're going to stick the tail inside on the bottom of the loom because you don't want it to get in the way later when we're looping. And then once you have done that, you're going to take two more pink bands and from the middle peg to that peg and then again from the middle here. So you should have went down six on this one, three bands, adding the tail and then adding these two bands on the side. Now you're going to add, grab two white bands, wrap it around your hook once and add it from here to here. Again, wrap it around from here to here. And now you can add your poodle's um, feet or legs, shall I say. So I'm going to grab the legs. And you can place one here and the other on the other side. And the other, the arms or the other legs actually, are gonna go later when we add the extensions. So don't worry about that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that all these pink bands, you wanna push them down. And then you want to take two bands and we're going to make a layer on the top of our loom. And you're gonna go down using two bands at a time. And this is what it looks like. We have the bottom layer, the top layer. So we went down one, two, three, four, five, and six. You're going to stop right before that white band. You're not placing anything here. So you went down six. Do the same thing on this side. One, two, three, And six. And now once you have done that, you have placed the sixth overlapping row on each side. You're going to take a single and wrap it around this peg, only three. And the same thing here, only three. So it's a cap band wrapped around only three. Now we're going to grab the poodle's arms and you're going to place it on this top peg and on this top peg. And now we're going to add triangle bands. So starting right underneath your puppy's arms, place triangle band from here to here. That's the first one. A triangle band 
from here to here and just push these down. One here, so this is the third one so far. Here and here. So you should have placed one, two, three, four, five, only five triangle bands and we don't need one on these three. So now as we loop the outer layer, we're going to be adding all the fluffy fur. And when I do it, I add a lot of my hooks so I don't have to keep adding them. But if it's going to make you um, get confused, then you can just add two at a time. So I'm just going to add two to show you. You're going to reach in under this cap band right here. And you are going to grab the top two. What we're, we're doing is we're only going to be looping the top layer. So grab the top two. And before you loop it, add the two bands, the two sets, then loop. And you're going to do that again. You're going to place a single wrapped around your hook twice. Reach in this cap, uh, triangle band, push it back. Grab the top two bands and place your loom sideways to make sure you're just grabbing the top two and you're not touching the bottom. Slide these down and loop. Again, one, two, slide them down and loop. And if you're more comfortable with putting, placing more than one set of these figure eight bands on your hook, then you can do that. I place a ton and I just slide them down. So I'm just going to place two more sets. So now again, that's the triangle band. You're pushing that back, grabbing the top two, and just grabbing two sets of bands and looping. Go to the next, grab the top two, slide the other two sets, loop it. One, two, and finally the final two, and slide these down, and then loop to the arm. So you have completed this row, and you want to make sure the loops are on their own. Um, they should be in the middle. You don't want them like on the peg. So now what we're going to do, so we don't get so confused, is those of you who have watched my other videos, I then pop it off and place it over to the side. I don't want you getting confused because of all the ruffles. So you're going to take your thumb and you're going to place your thumb on this peg. We are not going to be removing these bands right here that are on the arm. You don't want to remove any of these and you definitely do not want to remove these cap band on the bottom. So just think nothing removed here, nothing here. Hold your thumb here just to make sure it doesn't pop off and you're going to take your finger and reach in and pinch the second part, pop it up, and over to the side. And as you can see, this one pops off and this one, but these remained on my hook, on my peg. And now the triangle band should look like a triangle band, so one band is above and one below. Again, we're reaching in and we're popping it up and over. It should look like that. Reach in, pop up, and over. And again, this does not come off, but this one does. So if you just want to take your fingernail and hold that cap band down, and then this one pops up and over. And just give it one last look and make sure that the triangle band, one is resting above and one is the other one are resting below. You don't want it to look like this. It should look like a triangle band. So now we're going to add all the ruffles on this row the same way. We'll do two at a time still. Reach in under the cap, grab the top two pink bands only, and before looping, slide down and then loop. Again, one and two.
slide down and loop. Basically the same thing all the way to the arm. Always remembering, just push the triangle band back, grab these two, slide down and loop. Wrap around, wrap around, slide down, and loop. And the last one, one, two, reach in, top two, slide down, and loop. Same thing here, we're going to pop off this row. We're not, we're not removing the one on this peg, the cap, and we're not removing this. This is what's holding it all together. We're going to reach in and pinch the second set and pop it up and over like that and then you can this one's already over so I'm going to pinch this one bring it up and now the other one on the bottom pops off but that's okay and bring it over and now I'm going to remove this one and again make sure you're not taking anything off of this peg so you can take your thumb and hold it there pop up and over so you, if you pull on it, it should look like this. And make sure that your triangle bands look like triangle bands. And now we are going to loop the rest of the body. And again, adding all of the ruffles, which I find to be a lot of fun. So let's loop the bottom first. We're going to reach in, grab these two white bands, and loop forward. Again, pull on here. Grab these two white bands. Oops, that doesn't belong there. Two white bands, loop forward. And now we're going to reach in here and we're going to be adding the ruffles on these bands in the middle. And to grab those, you're going to reach into the peg. You're going to be pushing back this band. This is the cap band that's holding the extension. And you're aiming to grab right here. You can see it the middle set. So it's the one, two, the second pink set. The bottom we are not touching. So reach in, push back the extension bands, grab those two pink bands that are in the middle, and slide down those two sets of pink ruffles and loop to the middle. Again, add two figure eights. Doing the same thing on this side, we are grabbing these two pink bands right here, not the bottom. Reach in, grab these two, slide it down, and loop. It's going to start to look like a hairy mess, so just have to pay attention to where you have added ruffles and where you have not. Because in the end, it will look like a bold spot if you didn't add the ruffles to that one spot. So now we're going to re-enter these two pegs. And you're grabbing now the remaining two pink bands. So you're going to reach in, push back the extension, pull this up, slide down the ruffles, and loop forward. Now we're going over here to figure eights. Reach in. Push back the extension, grab the two pink, slide down the ruffles, and loop forward. Two more. Reach in here in the middle, push back all of these bands, and then you are grabbing three. Make sure that when you pull up, it should be three loops three strings because this one is where we put three bands slide down the ruffles and loop that's the band that has the fur on it 
one and two. We're reaching into this peg right now. So here's the one, two, third peg up. Push back the triangle band. Grab the bottom two. Slide down and loop. Reach in the middle, grab these two, slide down, and loop. Reach into this peg. You don't want to miss the peg. If you miss after all this work, it will come apart. So it's from where the leg is right here. One, two, three. Push back the triangle, grab these two, slide down loop I'm just going to loosen up the leg you don't have to do that. I just like to do that wrap around and now we are at these three one two three push a triangle band back loop Slide these down and loop. One, two. I'm just going to add a couple in the middle. Push back the ruffles. Grab these two and slide down. Just two sets and loop. Now over here. I didn't loop over here. See, this is why you need to pay attention. I looped here, here, and I didn't loop here. So make sure, check to see that when you enter, that there's no band to be pulled up. That means you've looped it, and there's a, it should be like a teardrop shape. So I have not looped this one right here, where the leg is one, two, three up. I'm going to loop that now. You definitely don't want to mess up on this part. And loop forward. So now I have looped all of these up to one, two, three are all looped. So now I'm going to be doing one, two, and three, these three. So where the arm is, it's one, two, three, four. I'm looping the fourth peg, bring it up. And if you're ahead of me already, that's fine. Just, again, be really careful you don't miss one. Move forward. The fourth one from the middle. The remaining two. And then one, two, three, four, the fourth on this row. Slide them down. And loop. Now we're at the third one down from the top. Push back the triangle band, grab the two pink, slide down only two sets. Same in the middle, two sets. I just realized that on this one and this one, I only put one set of the fur. So I'm curious to see what this is gonna come like because I didn't even realize that we're putting two accidentally. I have, when I did this one, I only put one. So we will see together what this looks like. Sorry, I bet you it's gonna look cute though. So that means actually that now it's double the bands that I said we needed. We, I said 177, but if we're adding an extra, then I apologize for that. So I just completed the second, the third one. 
and I looped it forward. And all I have to loop now is the second peg on each row so far, reaching in, bringing it down. So now I'm so curious to see what it's going to look like. Two instead of one, maybe extra shabby looking. I'm going to do the middle. And then I loop to this arm, I loop to the neck, and now I have to loop here. One. And definitely make sure that you are, you don't get confused. This looks like it's been looped, but it's, that's the extension. Reach in here, grab these two, and definitely do an overlook of your design and make sure that everything has ruffles and has been looped. With you, I have looped all of them. Now we're just going to loop the neck. So one, two, three, and four. Two for each side. Reach in under the arms, push those back, grab the two bands, and only bring down two. See, this is confusing. Does it okay? And now I have to reach into this one, push back the armband, grab the remaining two, slide these down, and loop. So once you have done this and you are confident that you have looped everything, added the little ruffles, reach in here, push all the pink bands back, grab the three neck bands, and loop forward. And if you want, you can grab a color that's the opposite of the one that's for the neck and make a slip knot so that when you remove it, it doesn't come apart. And I'm going to take this off ever so gently because I did so much work and I want it to not break. And I'm so curious to see what this looks like with the extra set of ruffles. And if I like it. Is so cute. So cute. So it's de <laughs> definitely a lot fluffier than I thought it would be. It makes them bigger. Um, don't know how I feel about it right now. I guess we can pinch it. It's very fluffy. And this is just using one. It's cute. And now we're going to do the face of our poodle. So for the face, you're going to add two pink bands from the top. You're going to go to the left and to the right. And then you are going to go down two times on each row. One, two, one, and two, and one, and two. And then you are going to take two more, and from the middle, from here to here, and from the middle, from here to here. Now you're switching to finally a different color, white bands. And we are going to go down one, two, three, <clears throat> and turn in on the fourth. So one, two, and three. And we turn in. One, two, And three, and turn in on the fourth. And in the middle, just fill it in with white. All the way, one, now 
push everything down. And if you want, you can place a triangle band right now on these three in the middle, just so we don't forget. And you are going to grab your Poodle's adorable ears and place it on this peg right here and on this peg. So it's from the top, it's one, two, three, the third peg down on both sides. For the eyes and the nose, I am using beads. I always use beads. I just happen to like them better. If you don't have beads, what you're going to do is simple. You're going to take your hook and wrap a single black band around four times. You can take it, wrap it around twice, pull on it, wrap it around again. And then you can do that again. Wrap it around once, pull, wrap it again. So that's both sets. Take a single white band, twist it around your hook, and pull and slide that on there like that. And then grab the other loop. So now we have to do this one. So I'm gonna take this off for a second because I should have done one at a time. Again, take a single white band, wrap it around itself, and slide that on and grab the other loop. So now, You should have both of them that look like this. And then you're going to transfer that onto a single white band by pulling them on like this. And then take the eyes and place it here and here. You're separating them and then you're opening the band in the middle and placing one, one band resting above the peg and one band resting below it. That is your poodle's eyes. For the nose, you're gonna take a single band, wrap it around, pull, wrap it around again. And then you're going to transfer that onto a single white band, like that. And that would go from here to here. And that would be your cute little nose. I'm going to be using the beads, and to do that, I'm just going to place a single white band through my bead. If, I just wanted to say, if you decide to use bigger beads than this, you don't want to do the step of wrapping the band around. If you're just using, for instance, a large, let me see if I have a large pony bead to show you. Something larger. If you're using a regular size large pony bead, don't do the step of wrapping it around. Just take your actual white band and slide your white band through both of your large pony beads and place it as your eyes. Otherwise, it's just going to look like his eyes are bulging out. But this is the whole wrapping around process is just because the bands are the beads are little and it fills in that gap. If you see the space, there's always going to be a space, which is creepy looking, and then that kind of closes the space. So if you're using a small pony bead, and the size that I'm using is right here, it's Creatology 4mm by 7 millimeters, and that's why I use that extra white band around it. So again, just take a white band and slide it through two black, and actually, again, another white, and slide it through this one. And you can just use one of them. I'm going to take this off as the nose, it's as simple as that. And I'm going to remove the eyes. And for the eyes, the process is a little different. You take one of the loops, if you're putting a tiny bead on it, and you're wrapping it around your hook, like that. And then take the other loop, place it on your hook. Let's do that over. Take the loop, place it on your hook, and twist and place your hook through it. Take the other loop and wrap it around. So that's one. And we'll do that with this one now. Again, take the hook, grab that single loop, wrap, take this one, and wrap. And that is your poodle's eyes. 
and then you're transferring that on a single white band and I just grab the two corners at a time so that it doesn't get all you can see it gets tangled sometimes slide it down same thing on this one I grab two at a time and then the other two once you have placed both sets on your single band place it from here to here separate it open up the band in the middle and place one above and one below and that completes the face and then we just have one triangle band one single band on these three and then we are ready to loop so you're going to take the body and remove that band that you had holding the slip knot holding your neck make sure that when you do that that you have the hook going through all the neck bands so you don't lose it you know I have to take this off I did it too tight okay so make sure you are grabbing three and three all together you should have six and you're going to stretch that and place it on this peg right here and you're going to pull on it and hold it down and reach in and grab the first two bands you see and mine are going forward reach in grab the other top two loop it to the left and reach in, remaining two, and loop to the right. Reach in here, grab these two, loop, loop the middle, and pushing all these back, grabbing the bottom two. And there's that nose band, you want to make sure you push that back, loop this forward, loop these forward. Again, here's that nose band push back, grab the bottom two, loop. So we have loops one, two, three. Here's that eye band. Push back, loop the white. Again, eye band, grab the bottom two, loop. Don't forget the middle. Now we have to loop these first, the two pink bands in the inside. So push back those white bands that are holding the ear and reach in and grab the top two pink bands. And make sure that when you pull, that you don't see these being pulled, otherwise you have um, pulled the wrong bands. Again, push these two back, grab the two pink that are on the top and loop to the middle. Now we are actually, you're going to get mad at me, but we need to undo these, just these two, because we have to add the little ruffles. So just undo it and just place it back on that peg just for a second, these two. Otherwise, it just doesn't look as cute. So just now grab your pink bands and wrap two bands around, again, the figure eight. And just grab them again and add the two. On this one, on I only did one, so I'm just going to do one because I don't know if it's going to look too fluffy. So instead of doing two, just do one. If you want to do two and see how it comes out, you can do that too. So I'm just going to do one. I mean, if you do two and you don't like it, you can always take a scissor and cut one off of each. So it's not like it's a big deal. And I'm going to now grab these two and loop it. I guess it would look really cute with a lot of floofy. I don't know. So grab another, again, your choice if you want to add one or two. I'm just going to add one for now. Reach in here where the ear is. Grab the remaining two and slide down. Here's one. Reach in here where the ear is, grab the remaining two pink bands, slide down. Reach in the middle, push all those bands back. So why is this? So we loop the middle bands to the middle and now we're going to, you want to make sure that you reach into the ear and you loop those middle ones and then these two on the side. Now reach in the middle, push all those bands back, bring this up and slide a set down. You can do two down, you can do two um, 
bands that you slide on or one. I'm just doing one for now. Reach in here, push back the triangle band, grab this one, slide down and loop. Reach here, slide down and loop. Reach in here, slide down and loop. And now we're at the corners. Grab these two, slide down and loop. Grab these two, bring it up, slide down and loop. Take your hook and go through all those bands. You want to make sure you definitely have all the bands. Slide them like this, bring them up, bring both loops onto your hook and create the slip knot and make sure it's secure and then just remove your poodle's face little by little and once you take the poodle off of the loom you're going to have to adjust the eyes if you use um, bands Here's the poodle, and then you just pop the nose through, adjust the eye so it doesn't look creepy. And this is your puppy. And if you feel like the hat, the top part was too fluffy because you added two, you can just take your scissor and cut some off so that it's not so thick. I only put one. I'm sliding the slip knot in the back to hide it. Pulling on the nose. And you want to make sure, I see a lot of people do my eye technique, but they leave the eyes bulged out. You know, you can just push them into the body, into the face. And now we are going to add the bows to the poodle if you want that. So to do the bow, I just take two black bands, but if you have limited edition bands that are thicker, you can just use one. So I take two black bands and I place them on two pegs, another two knot together on two pegs, and then another two pink, I mean another two black. You reach underneath the two bands and grab that single band and you hold on to it. It should be on your hook and you should grab the other loop and then you create the slip knot and you pull up. And then all I did was, you can slide it through the ear, but I kind of just grabbed it and wrapped it around the ear. If you want to add it a different way, you can do that. So do that with this one, reach underneath, grab that band, grab the other loop, it should look like that, create a slip knot, pull up. And then take it off slowly. And then grab that band and wrap it around the ear twice. And that is your poodle. And if you want to sit there and tweak, you can take your hook and go through all these bands like that and pull up and then slide out slowly. You can see it fluffs it even nicer. Go through all these bands, pull up, make sure you're grabbing every little loop, slide it out, and it looks a lot nicer. Grab all these, so funny, it's so funny with extra bands, grab these. Again, if you don't like it to be this fluffy and you just wanted this thinner look, then the next time you just, the, the legs do have to stay the same though with the double. But if you want the body to just look like this, you would just add only one loop. And the same thing for the arms and the legs, you just go through the loops and you pull on them. 
And then you would just do that for the head as well. I think she looks so cute though. And so for the head, just go through them. And you don't have to watch the rest of the video. I just wanted to show you that, you know, if you want them to look even neater, this is what you're going to do. The messy look will look cute too. So this is my poodle, and I think she came out pretty cute. And I actually do think that I am partial to the extra bands. It's so thick and fluffy. If you don't like it, you have the choice of good luck going through each one and cutting off an extra band. But I think I, I think I like it like that. And here's the tail. You can slide it to the side. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I found these little um, bells at Michael. Michaels, and if you want to add a little collar, you can do that. And I use a piece of dental floss and I slid it through, and then I grabbed a white band or whatever color you want. And you don't even have to do that, you can take a limited edition band and say this is a limited edition band, the ones that are thicker, you can wrap it around itself and pull it tight, and then slide it over your dog's neck and place it on the neck for a collar or you can add a charm or a pony bead. Again, it's your choice. So what I did is I just used a dental floss and I placed the white bead. And then I slid it through. And then here is my little bell. And then I just used another two white bands. Actually, I just, I slipped not a two bands together first. So there's a slip, two slip knotted bands together. Then I grab these two and I pull that through. And this is all optional, just touch ups. And then I just S clip that to the end, to behind the puppy. So I don't have S clip here with me right now, but you get the idea. Just be creative, and then I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too hard. And if you make a poodle, then I'd love to see it. You can share it with me on my Facebook page, Marlooms Creations, or you can hashtag me on Instagram using Marlooms Creations as well. And thank you so much for watching.